Today on BRS TV, we're going to show you how easy two of the most popular Hanna checkers are to operate. Hi, I'm Ryan, host of BRS TV How To's. This week, we're going to show you how to use a couple of the Hanna checkers. Everyone hates test kits and testing in general, so these checkers can really change the way some of us reef. Most experienced reefers will agree that alkalinity is probably the most common and important parameter to keep closer tabs on, so we're going to start with that one. Step one is to turn the checker on by hitting the button and then fill the cuvette to a 10 milliliter line with water from the tank. Put the sample in the checker and hit the button and it will zero in a matter of seconds. Next, open the reagent bottle and draw out one milliliter of solution. Just pull the plunger back until it hits the one milliliter line. It's perfectly normal for there to be a small air bubble at the top, so ignore that. Add the reagent to the cuvette and invert it five times to mix. Place it back in the checker and hit the button. In a few seconds, it'll give you a reading which you can multiply by 0.056 to get your DKH. Whole thing literally takes less than a minute and much easier than titration-based test kits. The reagent syringe comes with a special tip that you can use if you like, but it's not necessary. The other checker we're going to demo today is pretty much just as easy and measures phosphate. This one's pretty valuable because all of the phosphate test kits out there are pretty much impossible to confidently read the subtle shades of blue they present. The process is basically the same. Turn the checker on, fill the cuvette with sample water from the tank, place it in the checker, close the lid and hit the button to zero the meter. This time the reagent is a powder and I found the easiest way to get all the powder out is to tear the envelope on two sides. This makes it pretty easy to tap all the powder out. Replace the cap and shake gently for two minutes until the powder is fully dissolved. This time when you add the sample there's a slightly different step. Rather than just simply hitting the button you hold it down which starts a three minute timer. Once the timer is done it will read your tank's phosphate in parts per million. Couple quick tips on doing these tests. It's critical that you rinse the cuvettes out when you're done so the reagent dye doesn't permanently stain the glass. It's also important that the glass cuvette is clean and free of fingerprints. If you have any questions or advice on these or other checkers, check out the comments area down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button because we release two new reefing videos like this every week. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV.